This is Lemon Hope Part 1. I'm gonna apologize for my voice, by the way. I uh, just got done with a convention and doing a review, and of course, the smart thing to do go to another convention immediately after. Hooray! Uh, I'll oh, see you at Kineticon. Um, <laughs> so, but this is. Uh, uh, actually, can I give a quick. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right, you're talking about that. Will. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, and Jory, you can join in if you wish. Uh, Doug took us to Anime Midwest. Um, it was a whole lot of fun, and it was really neat meeting some people, and. I just want to say thank you to a whole bunch of them because you made an average Joe like me who just does this to help his friend out feel like a rock star. Like, it was super neat meeting, like, a whole bunch of people that just, I don't know, they made me and Jory feel more than just the average person we felt Because you wanted. are more than average. We felt wanted in it. It's, it's neat. Yeah. It was really, really neat. And uh, just a couple people I want to say thank you to. Um, one is Mia, uh, Aaron. Hi, Mia. Hi, Aaron. <laughs> uh, Thomas. Th no. Tommy. Tommy. Sorry. Tommy. Same thing. <laughs> I'm terrible. Tommy. And what's his name? Uh, Jacob. Jacob. Thank you for the picture. Yes. And then uh, I don't remember their names, but it was just uh, two girls. Super sweet, super nice. One of them was dressed as one of the girls from, uh, most popular girl at school. Is that what it is, Bree? That was the meanest girl. Most popular girls in school, I think. Most popular girls in school. I want to say thank you to them. Super awesome girls. And then a special, uh, thank you and hello and all that stuff to our, uh, our third daughter now. Our second daughter? Third daughter? I don't even know. Second daughter. Uh, <laughs> Amy. Love you, Amy. That's it. Sorry. I, f I liked it. It was fun. Can we get on to... I'll thank nobody. I mean, you, <laughs> you were all praising me, as you should be. I mean, uh, there's a billion other people, but, like, I, I'm terrible with names, obviously. So anyone I Better than I am. <laughs> anyone I didn't say, like, uh, thank you to, I mean, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. It You made me feel super special. Like, you made me feel just like a million bucks. Thank you. Actually, that does remind me, because somehow I was going to break, somebody uh, made me this little tree trunks mm. with a nostalgia <laughs> cricket hat and Most tie on, ever. and I forgot to bring it, so uh, I'll try to bring it next time, I'm really sorry, but I just know that it, it'll get on one of these, I just totally forgot, so I'm sorry. Uh, but with that said, gone on uh, long enough, there until you gotta get out of the candy Brie, without- will you take the bag? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Don't move the bag, take your candy! Okay. <laughs> So, okay, so we have uh, Lemon Hope Part 1, just a uh, funny little upbeat adventure, um, you know, nothing strange in it at all. Uh, pretty much we see Lemon Hope, who escaped uh, the Lemon Kingdom, or whatever it was called. No, uh, Earldom. Earldom. Er Earldom, yes. Uh, he escaped, and Bubblegum is trying to teach him how to not be like the rest of the kingdom. We see this film strip where... Yeah, it's pretty much one lemon grab again. He ate the other one, and he's kind of like a a fruitlini, a Mussolini sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, That's awesome. And uh, yeah, and it's just <clears throat> it's it's pretty grim, actually. I mean, for like you know, just <laughs> every episode with lemon grab seems to get darker and darker and more unpleasant. Yeah. Uh, and this one's no exception. Uh, lemon Hope is supposed to be the one to not be like them and. Hopefully one day come back and deliver them from all this terribleness. Uh, but he doesn't want that. He wants no education, he wants none of that, and he kind of wants to be mean on his own. So he goes off on his own um, and finds a pirate ship in the desert and gets on it. But the next morning the ship is kind of gone. It's like just the middle of it is left and everybody that was on it is gone. So... He wakes up, he's like, oh, freedom, freedom's great, but then he has to survive on his own, and he's not very good at it, and the last thing you see is him crawling in the desert, starving to death, going, freedom, and that's it. Um, so he's Zach Gila Rocha from Rage Against the Machine? I guess. I would love to see Lemon Hope just going, freedom. <laughs> Sorry. Like, that's what he's doing through most of it, just not screaming it. Oh, when he goes back to uh, uh, his original home, he'll start to freedom. Or whatever. Oh. I, the voice, I can't do it now. Um, maybe I can do it better now that the voice is croaky. Well, anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's... 
It's weird because I just got done doing an editorial talking about like abstract and surreal films, and one of mm. them was like David Lynch. So I had to see it, sit through a lot of David Lynch stuff again. So your to, head. Yeah. Mm. So to watch this again, oh. <laughs> you know, like yeah. after or, or to watch this after all that strange, yeah, because like Mulholland Drive and Eraserhead, oh, yeah. Lost Highway and stuff, and uh, just to watch this, it's like I never left those movies. It was, <laughs> was kind of like because there's a lot of dream imagery in this. Uh, a lot of it actually pretty cool. The opening uh, dream sequence was actually, even though it was very minimal, was really pretty, actually. Like, with the black backgrounds and the colored doors and stuff. Uh, ripping off Super Mario Bros. 2. Um, but, yeah, did, did you just want to see, like, a potion go down for that red <laughs> yeah. door to pop up? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, Sorry. so uh, obviously it's a setup for uh, the next one, so it's like, you can't entirely say whether or not, yeah, that was a good direction or not because i don't know the direction it's going in um lemon hope is kind of like a mini lemon grab um just not quite as annoying um <laughs> and and lemon grab did get a few laughs i like when the eagle picks up that one runaway drops inside just like now i must eat you <laughs> like doesn't even ask what happened or anything just someone drops in his room it's like i will eat you <laughs> um so he got a few laughs um but I guess I liked it. It's, I just associate it with unpleasantness, though. And I, I think that's the intention. Don't get me wrong. But it's really unpleasant. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. I, I liked it, I guess. I, it's one of those things where I'm not like, Go, Lemon Hope, I want to see you succeed. Because he is kind of annoying, but he's not. <laughs> he's not Lemon Grab annoying quite yet. Because he has a little bit of the voice, but he doesn't talk as much. So... I'll kind of half and half, um, but, yeah, that's, uh, kind of a messed up way of talking about it, so I guess we're half love it, half hate it, I guess, but, uh, yeah, I, I gotta just see where it's going, but, uh, I, I'm intrigued enough, I guess. Sorry? It's dark, I like yeah. it, I like it a lot, um, <clears throat> although it's sad because I, I really, I'm kind of with you, I really actually dislike Lemon Hope. Mm. He really irritates the crap out of me. And it's like so embarrassing because here's Lemon Grab, who's like the worst of the worst. He's like the worst of all. And I'm like, ha oh, ha ha, that's so funny that you're brother lemon is inside you still alive screaming to get out and you're just eating every ho 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 that's funny but here's lemon hope which is kind of more human ish, ish if you yeah. will you know um i mean he's got the traits and you can kind of excuse actually his behavior as well he's a kid yeah like, kids don't do selfless things because it's the noble thing to do kids are kids you know you learn it you you, you have to learn empathy, and that's what Bubblegum was trying to do. And so you can't, I can't really blame Lemon Hope, but I just can't stand him. He's so freaking irritating. <laughs> I don't under, you know, and like this, this journey to see him like go through this horribleness where he's all shriveled up and then he hair catches on fire because it's just so hot and it's like I just don't care just die in a fire <laughs> <laughs> like that's fine keep the fire going he's a kid but I want him to die <laughs> I, are you I, sure you're not me right now <laughs> I'm sorry um, the only other thing I really have to say is I'm just curious you know bubblegum is the one that created the lemon grabs and she doesn't seem to care much for rules. I mean, she cares about her rules, and she cares about what she wants to do and what she thinks is okay. So I thought it was interesting that she's like, oh, because my first thought was like, why can't she just fix this? She's the one that made them. Fix it. Um, but then they're on the hill, and she's trying to show Lemon Hope, and she's like, but there's... There's a rule or a law or something that she can't go... Treaties and uh, uh, stuff were signed. Yeah, the, near the earldom and stuff. And it's like, but you disregard a lot of other stuff. Like, <laughs> That's kind of like, true. <laughs> you do what we you gotta give want. up some of our freedoms. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you do what you want anyway. You fix them. Because remember, there's that one episode where she erased part of... The create, how they create life. Yes. But there was a reason it. behind that. But what about all of them? Okay, my only argument to that is, 
when it comes to the lemon grabs, especially in this society, what does he do? He eats them. He flips the hell out and he does crazy, bizarre, strange things. Yeah. yeah, she will break laws or break rules or whatever, but not at the expense of another person's life. She may be kind of callous. She may be kind of like crazy or kooky. Wait a minute. What about that James episode? The whole thing was him getting sacrificed. But what was she able to do? <laughs> she was able to clone him. So yes, it was at the cost of his life, but in the end, she could bring him back no problem. This is one of those where this is a completely... It's like the U.S. stepping on yeah. everyone else. You know? Honestly, that was the first thing I thought. I yeah. thought, this, this is Iraq. I mean... Oh, I was thinking like the whole North Korea stuff. Oh, my God. With how shut off it is. And I think it's more the whole thing of if she stepped in there without the whole invisibility, it could cost some of these people their lives that she cannot bring back. That's true, I suppose. Yeah, there's definitely, like I said, just a lot of the imagery and the setup and everything, I mean, was... Sounds a little too close to, you know, really hard stuff to figure out in real life with governments and, and yeah. politics and stuff. It's just kind yeah. of going, oh, 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 and some of it. Hi, you're not welcome here. <laughs> Everything is fine. Don't come. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say that little tiny yeah, that, little that video, was my, that's my favorite part was the, of the whole thing. My favorite part was cup cups. <laughs> I just love Finn just being cup cups. <laughs> and if you know what? Uh, I was just kidding. it has nothing to do with anything, but just I point out watching it, I love how at the end of the film strip, there's oh. still the beep of the color bars, oh. even though it's a film strip. <laughs> it's, it's a little thing, but I, I love it. It's like how we still put static in our online videos when something's being interrupted, even though it's online and there would be no TV <laughs> static. But it's just, it's such a great icon to quickly go to and get. Yeah. Um, one thing I, I don't know if you noticed or not, um, when she opens the drawer to get the cupcakes, there's a mini Mr. Cupcake in there. No, oh, I didn't notice that. There's a mini. I mean, it doesn't have the arms or legs or anything, but yeah, there's a mini Mister Cupcake in there. Um, I can't stand Lemon Hope. I don't care what anyone says. He, he's an annoying little brat. And but then again, he comes from the Lemon Society. He comes from the Lemon people, where it, it's hard to defend, but it's hard to like the other Lemon people. Obviously, gave him freedom. Yeah. They knew. Like, they weren't all about themselves. They knew that they could, you know, help someone else. So just saying that he's a lemon person, and that's the reason why, oh, it's okay, I guess. I mean, I don't accept that. Him it being a kid, I can accept that. You know, he's a kid. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, he's I don't know. He's still annoying. Like, when he's doing his little song, and he goes up to the oh, owl. Oh, my God, that was the worst, the worst, that stupid song. He pokes the owl oh. in the head, then knocks over his water. Then as he's climbing up, he knocks over the uh, nest of eggs. Like, he's just kind of... You know what it reminds me of? The Futurama episode where it's Freedom Day. Where you can do whatever you want to and it doesn't matter. And there's, like, Bender knocking people over. I think you broke my leg. Freedom. You know, all that stuff. <laughs> like, that's what, like, Lemon Hope is doing. He's doing whatever the hell he wants and kind of saying, Freedom. I have freedom to do whatever I want to. Freedom. Freedom. And it's like, well, dude can say that but you know really well i'll say this the one thing that kind of remind me of um i i think everybody as a kid you know has a fantasy about it. it's like wanting to run away like i'll run away from my mom and dad oh, and yeah. start a new life on gilligan's island or some crap I like still think that. About that now <laughs> <laughs> I love your dream <laughs> jason <laughs> um but yeah no but there's always this thing and then like Either no kid ever really does it, or even those that do get, like, a block down the road. It's like, yeah, I don't think so, and then they can't really do it. And it's, I sort of saw this, I guess, like, as an extension of that. I mean, just the idea of, like, running away and not taking the responsibility at all. You know, much like a little kid does. Like, well, I don't need to do this because nobody's telling me to. So you would act like a little kid would, like, you oh, know, yeah. just smash things and stuff like that. So it didn't bother me too much, but maybe it's the fact that he is just so minimal in what he says, and... The way he says it and what he says is so annoying that it is like, yeah, it's hard to, it's already minimal. And then what he says, it's annoying, so it's really hard to get attached to the character. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I didn't hate him quite as much as, uh, quite as much as Lemon Grab, but maybe it's because he spoke less. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, while watching it, and Bri, of course, brought it up, and I agree with her completely, uh, the boat and all that stuff reminds us of, uh, the anime Sands of Destruction. Where basically oh, almost all the water's yeah. dried up, and they sail across sand. Hmm. 
Like, it's sand oceans, which is pretty neat. So I saw, that that's really cool. kind of what we saw in it. Um, but what, I guess, annoyed me, and I, I don't know, it's so small, I know, but when he comes out and he's like, yeah, I accidentally got on your ship, I'm looking for help, and it's like, dude, you ran and you hit on that ship, you, you liar, you little liar, and now you're asking for help, you know, that's like breaking, Actually, that's like breaking into someone's house, just eating their food and whatnot, and going, oopsie, I accidentally ended up here, can you help me? I don't think he was asking for help. He was demanding it. Yeah. He didn't yeah. say, I, I think I need help. He said, I'm going to, I'm, something about, I. I'm just fascinated you got upset by that. <laughs> like, you know, you liar. It's like, <laughs> yeah, he's already, forget that he's not getting over, like, the bird's nest with the eggs and stuff like that. It's like, you fipped. Jerk. Yeah. <laughs> he's all about freedom, and apparently he's free to lie. Well, well but I, and the cloud is free to not rain. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, Freedom I, to not rain. I, yeah, I think it falls under <laughs> that he's he's a kid that's never known, you know, freedom. I, I guess it makes a little bit more sense, too, with seeing where he came from with that, you know, sort of background of, of being in that terrible place. And he's like, well, why do I have to hear more about this terrible place? In fact, maybe this place can't tell you. It's like, he just wants away from everything. But he does, he, he's going to one extreme because he's lived in such an extreme. and But it's still an extreme he's going into, so it's going to be extremely bad. I just like saying extreme. What's Bubblegum showing him, though? The film strip. Of yeah. He, she's basically saying to him, because these people gave you freedom, you need to come back and help them at some point in time. Look at how much they are suffering. Yeah, she says specifically because, they're being punished because they helped you. Because yeah. they're being, like, more tortured. And it's kind of cruel, to, in a sense, of her to say that. Yeah. It is cruel to say that to a kid. But at the same time... You should instill that in, like, young Lemon Hope, that they're suffering for you. You need to help them. It's something... You, they helped you. You need to help them at the same... Like, go come back and help them. And he's just kind of like, eh, whatever. And I think you're right. Yeah, he's, he's a kind kid. of doing doodles and stuff. And he's I, a kid. I, I get that. But at the same time, I don't know. As much as I hate old people and I hate, you know, <laughs> kids and whatnot. You just hate humanity. For the most part. He really people. does. <laughs> but I mean, if I walked by a building on fire and I saw, like, you know, someone in the building saying, help me, I'd help. I mean, if it's a little baby or an Only old granny. Only I wasn't wearing a maid outfit. That's true. <laughs> I was wearing but, a maid outfit. Everyone would, would be screwed. <laughs> but, you know, I'd know to help. Even when I was a kid, you have that sense of, I should help other people. Mm. You know, no matter, for to an extent, no matter how badly you grow up. You know, there's kind of, I don't know, I, maybe, I don't know, I hate people, I don't I, care. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Well, I don't think so. I don't know, I don't know. It's un 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 unacceptable. Hey, look, he's burning in a building. Ha 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 ha! a building in your building? That's weird. Um, yeah. 